Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Zach with Zach Attack Cards. Just bringing you week two of Football Card Showdown. The NFL season is officially in full swing as we are just about to wrap up week two, which will feature a matchup of the Atlanta Falcons at the Philadelphia Eagles. But before we get to that one and what we're going to open today, let's go ahead and head back to week one for our little bit of a recap. So for those of you that uh, caught week one, first off, thank you. Um, the cards decided that the Jets were going to take that game. But unfortunately, it was relatively one-sided uh, from the way I watched it. Uh, and even the score, I want to say, I forget if it was like 32 to 16 or something like that. But uh, that game was pretty well in hand for San Francisco pretty early on. So unfortunately, the cards are going to fall to 0 and 1 to begin the season. But let's see if we can jump to 500 by opening up a bit of a new product. Topps Composite Football is here. And this has been a difficult one for me to find. So I do, I was able to secure a couple boxes. Uh, we're going to start slow and at least just open the one in this video to see what it says about who's going to take this one. And if we end up in a tie, kind of a new rule for the year, is we'll be opening up a few more of these score a treat packs. Because uh, like I said in the previous video, I do have quite a few boxes of that stuff lying around and we'll definitely be doing some more openings but we'll also treat this this video as a, a little bit of a preview slash review of top composite and from what i've seen i really like the product i don't try not to to be like a homer for tops uh, i am a bigger fan of tops than i am panini but uh you know unlicensed product is for lack of a better term just tends to be trash but who knows, maybe Topps stuff will actually hold a little bit of value, we'll have to see. But the thing that makes this really cool is the fact that it's pretty much all um, higher end products, Topps Chrome, Topps Midnight, Finest, uh, what's Chrome Cosmic, and a whole bunch of other uh, like Chromium type cards. So it, it makes it really stand out, especially when you look at it against the Panini counterpart of Contenders. Uh, no, Chronicles, apologies. So. Not much to see here. Eight packs, five cards. You get 40 cards in a box, which is also quite nice. Uh, same thing there. You get two retail exclusive inserts, four chrome inserts, two exclusive inserts, and that's about it. So the other thing that's nice about this, obviously, is the fact that you get the 40 cards and the price is right in the realm of $30. I was able to secure these for $29.99 before tax. And a little secret for you guys, if you're unaware, GameStop is a great place to find these. They sell them for $30. If you have their rewards program, you get a bit of a discount. Uh, I don't, but just in case you're looking for them, I know they're not so easy to find online. So just a little bit of a tip. We'll pop that off to the side. We'll get our official sorter, I guess, <laughs> for this game. And we will start ripping. But before we do that, let's go over the rules for any newcomers to the series. And as a reminder for those of you veterans out there. So the scoring works as thusly. A veteran player or team card is the extra point worth one point. A rookie player card is a safety worth two points. And a player team insert or numbered non-auto patch is a field goal worth three points. And finally, a player or team auto patch card is a touchdown worth six points. So let's see, following those rules, who's gonna come out of this one? As I said, we're gonna go a little bit slower because brand new product cannot be a brand new product. At least most of the time. But there you go, starting it off with a nice Topps Finest Dante Hall for Kansas City. Randy Moss, Topps Chrome Black also in this. Looks absolutely gorgeous. Like even the shot's kind of nice. I feel like it 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 has enough going on that it kind of distracts you from the fact that it doesn't have the the Viking symbols. But unfortunately not. We got a signature card. Leroy Butler! <laughs> oh man, I remember him from back in the day with Green Bay. That's awesome. Cornerback and numbered to 
149. That's awesome. Resurgence, I guess, is the set. That's really cool. Signatures card. Unfortunately, it doesn't help with our scoring, but that is really, really sweet. We're going to put that off to the side. We might need a little bit of a a little bit of a wipe before we actually put it in the in the top loader and such. C.J. Stroud, rookie quarterback for the Houston Texans, and Bo Jackson for the Topps Chrome and the Raiders. So nothing that we're looking for thus far. No Falcons, no Eagles. Let's just double check because got a little excited there. So, <laughs> oh wow, what a way to kick it off! An auto, and they're not. I don't think those are very easy to get. I saw, I've watched quite a few openings. I don't see, I haven't seen too many autos get pulled. So, absolutely, we'll take that. We got Andre Reed from the Bills. Another, or no, it's my bad. Thought it was Moss again. Adrian Peterson, Chrome Cosmic. We got Michael Vick. There we go. We got our first score for Atlanta. That's who he's playing for in that picture. So we'll take it. Stroud on the beautiful gallery card. Man, I miss the gallery sets. And another Stroud. Look at that. Just killing it on the Strouds. Three Strouds in the first two packs. Again, doesn't doesn't uh, help our our game here, but at least we do have a score. Kicking off J.J. Watt. So this is the standard resurgence from the looks of it. I believe. Anyway. Nice looking chromium card. And we have Jim Kelly on the Midnight. This is kind of the new-ish set for this. You can see how thick they are. Really nice set though. And we have an Emmett Smith. Looks like a, maybe a pink. Uh, I guess non-numbered, but loving it for my Dallas Cowboys. That's a solid looking card. Yet another Stroud. A Stroud in every pack so far. That's crazy. And another J.J. Watt. This time the Voltaic, which I believe is an insert from that resurgence. But no more Falcons and Eagles there. Let's see what we can do in the next pack. Kicking it off with John Elway. Got a card flipped around over here for some reason. Let's just flip her back. John Elway. Nice tops chrome, gorgeous look to it. Nolan Cromwell from the Rams. Kellen Winslow, also from the Rams. Or no, San Diego, apologies. Danny Amendola for the Pats. And Dan Fouts, quarterback for San Diego. It's kind of a cool foil board card. I think that, that might be one of the exclusive retail inserts. They don't really go out of their way to tell you exactly what they are, but probably since it was turned around. Another Danny Amendola, this time on the Chrome. Heinz Ward, Chrome Cosmic. A Mushin Muhammad on the finest refractor. If you're curious, refractor is right under the number, as you can see that there. Eddie George and Brian Westbrook. The Eagles have struck. Very cool. Well, it might be a little difficult to tell what's an insert versus <laughs> a standard card, but we will do our best at the end here. It's not a science. <laughs> Jim McMahon, quarterback for the Bears. We got another Bo Jackson on the midnight. Aikman raises Dallas standard for yardage. Hops heritage. Adrian Peterson. Tops, I think that's what, like the 2003 look, something like that. And John Riggins for Washington. So a couple of division rival players in that one for the Eagles. Let's see what we have here. Bruce Smith for the Bills. Will Levis, rookie Tops Chrome Black. That's very nice. No Bryce Young just yet. Now we got a pink Emmett Tops Chrome. Also... Doesn't appear to be numbered, so I guess pink are non-numbered, unless I'm missing something, but doesn't seem to be. Zach Thomas, linebacker, and Anthony Richardson for Indianapolis. Not having the best of years so far, so it'll be interesting to 
still early. It's still early. Uh, same with Bryce Young. Bryce Young is continuing to underwhelm. Let's see. Last pack. Are we going to end this in a tie? We're going to have to go to some extras. Jason Seahorn for the Giants. Eddie George for the Titans. We got Sean Alexander on the Resurgence. It looks like an X Factor, perhaps, or a Prism Parallel, one of the two. Once again, not numbered. Jerry Rice and Dan Marino. So there we go. Incredible. But let's just take a look here. So the Grounded. Looks like it's just a regular Resurgence card, I think. See a number of RG18. Let's take a look at one of these other ones. Apologize for the delay. There's one. Perfect. Take a look at that. Is that also RG or? No, that's just 93. So this appears to be an insert. What about the Tops Gallery? PG8. PG. Okay, let's take a look at one of the galleries. So if it's also an insert, then we are still tied. There you go. Gallery. Yep. So they both appear to be inserts, which would keep this a tie considering that is a field goal apiece, so three points each. So here's what we're going to do. As I said, I'm going to open a few more of these Spore Treat Packs. We're going to basically do this as a kind of a shoot-off or, or whatever you want to call it, uh, kind of regular old-school football overtime rules. First team to score anything wins. So let's start with a couple packs, see if that's enough to get us a winner here. First team to score takes it. And I promise I will try not to torture everyone with the difficulty in opening these packs. <laughs> Jordan Addison. Marvin Harrison Jr. Nice rookie there. And Andre Johnson. Nothing we're looking for. Let's see. Can we get an Eagle? Can we get a Falcon? James Cook. Jordan Travis, Sterling Shepard. And I guess we're gonna continue. Should have grabbed more than just two packs out of there, I guess. Let's just get a nice stack and if we put them back, we put them back. Still working on building the set, so never gonna complain about opening some more score. We have Kansas City. Pacheco. We have the Vikings, J.J. McCarthy and Sean Alexander. Still nothing. Come on, it's got to be something in here. All right, Grant Delpit, Blake Corum, and Josie Jewell. Still no. Knocking over my auto now. What a pull that was. I can't believe that. One blaster, we got an auto. Definitely gonna work on getting more of the composite stuff. Eddie George, Roman Wilson, and Ramondre Stevenson. No Falcons or Eagles. All right. If this takes too long, maybe we will just fall back to the old system. Of, I'll pick the winner. I really don't wanna keep you here forever. I'll be wait for a card, we got Debo, Malik Neighbors shows up, Traylon Burks for Tennessee. Neighbors was very solid today for the Giants in a losing effort. Unfortunately, he did have a big drop at the end of the game, so that definitely hurts. George Karloftis, Dallas Turner, and Amonra St. Brown. You have got to be kidding me. Was it that every time we do this, it's hard to find the players, the teams we're after? <laughs> uh, Jordan Poyer, Chop Robinson, Mike Gazeki, and we need to retrieve a few more packs. This is getting out of hand. Although, I could think of it as an incredibly competitive game. Maybe that's what we are going to get on Monday. I don't know why I tried to open it like that. Alright, 
right, what do we got? We have a Jets. Thought we had an Eagles for a second. Latu and Sweat. Once again, first team to score takes it. And Fairborn, Romeo, Romo Dunes, Kyron Williams. Come on now. There we go. These packs will be the absolute uh, bane of my existence. Ravens, Bucks, and oh, it's an eagle, but he's on the bar the Bears now. Oh my goodness. This cannot be. Can't go down like this. Give me an eagle. Give me a falcon. That's all we want. Max Crosby, Clinton Portis. Herman Moore, Dylan Johnson, Jarrett Stidham. Wow. I don't believe we're gonna get through an entire third of the package without finding what we're after. Well, there it is. The Eagles take it. Game over. Johnny Wilson. So Eagles end up taking this one. We're just going to call it a score of, uh, well, I guess that's a rookie, right? So a score of five to three. So not too bad. Not too bad. I think personally, that's probably how this one's going to go. I think Atlanta's too inexperienced and too young. Um, obviously they could surprise. Uh, but the Eagles seem to be a, a contender in the NFC, so it would not surprise me if uh, they handle their business pretty easily in, in Atlanta. But obviously, as a Dallas fan, and after seeing what happened today, I will be heavily rooting for the Atlanta Falcons. Uh, as for composite football, I think it's an awesome product. You know, if you can't get past the the you know the fact that it's unlicensed, I completely understand that. But I think the cards are absolutely gorgeous. Um, unfortunately, when it comes to value, I think only time will tell if uh, if it kind of holds up or not. But you, you seem to just get an absolute ton of shiny stuff. If you like shiny stuff, if, you, if you're still looking for rookies of the top quarterbacks, then it's pretty easy to get them in, in this product. Or so it seems. So just a little bit of a review for you there. A little mini review, let's call it. But uh That'll do it for our football card showdown for week two in the NFL. Just get to the end here and just want to say, as always, that it's always great to have you guys. I appreciate everything. Uh, if you love content like this, I really I love bringing it to you. If you could head down below, hit the little subscribe button, click the like while you're there. It's uh, this, this series in particular is just a ton of fun. So... Uh, if you want to come along for the ride, you are certainly more than welcome to, and we'll be glad to have you. Uh, but one last thing just before I get you out of here, besides the fact that we put out videos every Monday and Friday, almost always forget that, uh, <laughs> just wanted to say thank you guys very much. I appreciate it. I uh, hope you don't mind the, the struggle that it is to open these score packs. Uh, thank you for any and all time that you spend with me. I truly, truly appreciate it. And uh, I guess, like I say, every time you guys are an absolutely wonderful community and I appreciate everything that you've done for me in the past and uh, will hopefully continue to do into the future. And uh, with that said, I'm, I'm truly thankful and I'll stop babbling and get you guys on out of here. Once again, thank you. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.